So, are you having a bad day in your life? Are you sad about this bad day? Are you not happy about this bad day? But why is that? Because you failed with doing something. You failed with some attempt that you took. You failed in an exam. You lost some money. You did not do good in something. Your girlfriend left you, or your boyfriend left you, or something wrong happened, and you are having a bad day. So what? Why are you feeling bad about that bad day? So bad day is a part of your life. Like the good days are, bad days are also a part of your life. Why are you feeling bad about your bad day? Everybody has a bad day. Everybody has a good day. Everybody has more of bad days and less of good days. There are no different. There is nothing different that is happening. You have not been cursed by God for having a bad day. More than 90% of us, I would say 100% of us, have more bad days than good days. But we don't feel sad about it. We don't need to feel sad about it. You know, the only difference between a successful person and an unsuccessful person is how they treat these bad days. Because in 365 days, I would say maybe. Everybody has more than 300 bad days. The successful people are those who are able to take control of these bad days. Good is good for everybody, but more than 80% or 90% of the time that you are having as a bad day, what are you doing with those? Are you feeling depressed and sad and unhappy and doing nothing about it, or are you working on it to make sure that you do not have another bad day because of the same reason? That And today, are you working on those? If you make sure that you work on the reasons today, and you make sure that the bad day that was there today does not happen again tomorrow, you will start getting success. You will stop getting similar bad days, or your bad days will be different. See, because you are living a life, it is life. You are bound to have bad days. But if you keep updating yourself, if you keep changing yourself, your bad days. Would change into good things, and only person on this earth who can change your bad day into a good day is nobody other than you. Yes, so you who can change your bad day into a good day. So if it's in the morning, if you are feeling sad or you are feeling bad, what can make you feel good? An early morning workout, an early morning achievement, some revisit your success story. Revisit something good that you had done in the past, and a bad day can change into itself into a good day. So you have to know how you can convert or change your bad day into a good day. You know, even today I have a lot of bad moments. I would say bad hours and bad days. What do I do about it? I do not sit in the corner of the room and cry or feel bad about having a bad day. And I want somebody to say, "Okay, okay, so when it happens, please continue." No, I do not. If I have a bad day, I accept it. I take it as a challenge, and I make sure that the reason for which I am having a bad day today does not reoccur in my life. I make sure that it does not reoccur in my life. And if you do the same, you are bound to be successful, and you are bound to have lesser number of bad days in the next year, and so on. So, what makes you have a Why are you having a bad day? What exactly is the reason of having a bad day? You know, most of the times we feel bad about something, we feel not very good about something. When we had the potential to do something, but we did not do that. You know, when we perform below our potential, we call it a bad day because we did not live up to our expectations. I thought I would perform to that level. But I did not perform. You know, uh, people have bad days when they are successful, and people also have, uh, people also have bad days when they fail. So how can a successful person have a bad day and also a failure have a bad day? You know, a successful person might have a bad day because he did not do that well at that as much as he had thought for himself. So again, he did not live up to his expectations or to the potential that he can. He did not give his hundred percent, but still he got successful somehow. But he did not give his hundred percent, so he is having a bad day. 
and a person who failed is also having a bad day because again he did not live up to his potential. You know, if you connect this with your school exams and if you see see the topper who dropped the class, still being sad and not happy about the results. Why? Because he thought that he had a better potential. He could have got better marks, but he was not able to get that. He still got first. He still is the topper, but he did not perform to his full potential, full ability. That is why he is having a bad day. And at the other place, there is a failure who is also having a bad day because he also did not perform to his potential. He knows that he did not perform to his potential, and that is why he is having a bad day. So if you want to not have a bad day in your life. Only way out is you work to your full potential, hundred percent. You do not leave even one percent chances of giving yourself a bad day, giving yourself a feeling that oh man, I could have done better. Oh man, I could have worked hard. Oh man, I could have worked for more number of hours and done better. You should not be giving your that yourself this excuse or reason. To have a bad day. If you work to your full potential, I promise you, you will not have even a single bad day in your life. If you do not want a single bad day in your life, start working to your full potential. Start working 100% to your capacity, and you will see that you are not having a single bad day in your life. And all the days, I wish all the best to you to have 365 days of your life as the bestest days of your life. Not even good, but the best days of your life. I hope you like what I said. And if you have any questions, any comments, any recommendations, do make sure that you comment below and subscribe my channel to get every day new videos that I keep uploading only for you guys. Have a great day.